On February 3rd, a, a freight train run by Norfolk Southern Corporation carrying at least five toxic chemicals was derailed in the Ohio small town of East Palestine. Does the toxic chemical leakage affect your daily life, such as, for example, the drinking water supply? This isn't the first derailment this year so far. We've had almost a dozen train derailments around the country. Um, but this one is definitely the the most devastating. The fact that we've had over a dozen and it's only February uh, says a lot. Northern Kentucky Water uh, District sent out um, a letter to the general public about them finding um, a contaminant in one of the uh, one of the reservoirs that they get the water from and they are shutting that down preemptively. This has caused a lot of anxiety, mostly because like at, at this point, you know, what what crops and what food from this area are still going to be sent out. A lot of my friends now are buying, you know, a uh, bottle of water and bulk. In the far future, I definitely can see like a rise in, in cancer and, um, you know, like lung diseases. I worry about, you know, mm -hmm. whether he's gonna end up with like cancer or asthma, or he's gonna end up, you know, getting caught in some sort of acid rain without an umbrella. There have been a lot of reports of like household pets having to be euthanized for mm -hmm. respiratory problems. Uh, a lot of wildlife is uh, being found dead. According to, to outlets like Vox, I've also seen Lever News report on this, the train derailment and chemical spill was the culmination of a long trend of cost cutting in the rail industry. So do you think that the government is liable for this incident? Oh, absolutely. A absolutely. Um, it was a collaboration of both, I feel. Mm -hmm. you know, with, with, with Trump rolling back uh, safety precautions and then after that, having Biden push through the railroad strikes and saying, you know, we, we need, you know, the railroad tracks because this is, you know, the, the, the backbone of how we get everything in this country. Um, I feel like if he really did feel that way, he would also have focused more on paying the railroad, railroad workers better, giving them safe, um, a safe work environment. The fact that money was the only issue for for you know both sides of the aisle has put the rest of America, the, the, the actual American citizen, in a lot of danger. Two weeks after this incident, it seems that many problems still remain unsolved. What is the reason for this, do you think? Um, I feel like a, a lot of it is the lack of um, urgency, I, f I feel personally, um, from the government. Uh, you know, like Norfolk gave like $25,000 to the residents, which is ridiculous because there's about like 5,000 families in that area. So that's like $5 for each family, mm -hmm. which is kind of, um, it's kind of disrespectful in my eyes. And this is a pattern that I've seen catastrophes, especially, you know, when it comes to the environment, the government will, will do half the job and then it's up to volunteers from the areas to put their own lives at risk. So does the bipartisanship in Washington affect decision making and problem solving processes? Oh, de definitely, because I, I feel like, you know, whenever something terrible like this happens in America, um, the government, instead of trying to find true solutions a lot of the times just try to find where to place the blame mm. you know so you, you you'll have the republicans say like oh well it's the dems fault they're they're in charge right now you know like the president is blue and then you have the democrats saying well this is the republicans fault because you guys don't care enough can we just stop with the arguing and just think about this as if you guys are average American citizens mm -hmm. because at the yeah. end of the day it doesn't matter if those people living in that area are red or blue they're still an American citizen and they still need to be taken care of and they're not being taken care of because of the constant this is your fault this is your fault